County Sheriff's Department is being charged more money for failing to make payments on new cruisers, and now taxpayers are footing the bill. The sheriff says party politics are to blame. You're watching Wave News at 6. I'm John Bull. Myron Sari is off. The Scott County Indiana Sheriff's Office is now getting collection calls from Ford after the county failed to make a $33,000 payment for three police cars that bought a year ago. County documents show Ford is now charging taxpayers a $600 late fee on top of the bills owed. Wave News troubleshooter Mark Stevens says the sheriff blames dysfunctional politics for the late bill. John records show the sheriff's office had the money in its budget to pay for the cars last year, but the line in this year's budget for that finance payment was eliminated. The sheriff, who's a Democrat, blames the Republicans on the county council, which controls the money. I don't have $33,000 to be able to pay for this. Uh, and, and again, as everyone here in this county knows, they defunded my agency. Uh, and now we've got three trucks that's probably going to be on the back of a wrecker on their way back to wherever. Scott County Sheriff Jerry Gooden provided the overdue bill from Ford Credit showing the new $600 late fee and his email to Ford trying to explain why the county hasn't made this year's payment for three new police trucks it bought last year. He's a Democrat and places full blame on the county's Republican-controlled council. They need to quit defunding the sheriff's office. They are not going to stop us from doing our job. I don't care if we have to be out here on horseback. We're going to do our job as the Debs. We will not let down. Meeting videos show the council and sheriff had several tense discussions about the budget. It peaked last October over a dispute about a pay raise for deputies. As a council, we've had to make many tough choices with budgets. And one of them is that we do not believe at this time that we are able to get a $5 per hour raise as well as a 10% increase that has been requested by the sheriff. The council ultimately approved a budget $800,000 less than the sheriff had asked for with no money for the car payment. Council President Lindy Hubanks said no comment when I called to ask about the car payment. She's married to former Sheriff Kenny Hubanks, who bought used cars from the Clark County Sheriff's Office, where he worked and has been caught up in the ongoing Jamie Knoll investigation. Gooden told the county commission last year his used cars were falling apart. So this is something that was approved, ready to go. We had already made one payment on them. And now all of a sudden they're going to say, no, we don't want those trucks anymore. The county council has already replaced money in other areas for the sheriff that it zeroed out in the budget. It approved back in February, adding back $110,000 to the jail that were not included on the budget. Mark Stevens, Wave News. Okay, thank you.